How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review. It's the start of the weekend. I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. And today, we review the Manchester United Belgian striker, Romelu Lukaku, who I'm hoping doesn't have a great weekend because he's playing Newcastle United, my club. So, um, yeah, in terms of Romelu Lukaku, we're going to review him a day and just see what he's like on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. We're going to see his ins, his outs, everything about the card within this review. So, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Smash it like on this review straight away. Let's try and hit at least 1,000 likes for Romelu Lukaku. And um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what do you do? And subscribe to the channel and click that little bell as well to be notified of future uploads upon the channel. In terms of what we're going to upload in the future, it's down to you guys. Whichever kind of player that you do want to see reviewed on the channel, let me know in the comments section below. So the team, as you can see in the background, we have to hear. We have the Champions League, Ori, Sanchez and Fabinho. Lucas is our right midfielder. We have Pogba. Then we've got a try down in the bottom left hand corner of Real Madrid and Valencia, Ramos, Condogbia and Marcel. Then we have Martial, Pogba and Big Rom himself. So lads, let's get into the review. So here we go. Now he does command a, a kind of premium fee for the card. I did pay under 200k. As of right now, he's over 200k. I don't know if it's because of the weekend league or anything like that because for me, the weekend league's been a little bit easier than division rivals. I'm not too sure why that is. But um, yeah, 190 to 210 is the price on the Xbox and on the PlayStation. He scored 21 signs in 22 games with 10 assists. A great goal contribution to games ratio. He did very, very well. Three star skills. Could go against the card, but it doesn't because Romelu Lukaku, he, he's not that kind of animal on this game. He's not a skill or anything like that. He's got a four-star weak foot, medium to medium work rates, and he is six foot three tall. In terms of his in-game stats, they look great in certain areas. They look bad in other areas. The area I want to focus on is the physicality of the card because, as you know, in real life, Lukaku is a monster. He's a machine. He's a beast. He's a mammoth. Uh, he's got 94 strength in mammoth stat himself. Uh, 84 stamina, 71 jump, and he doesn't really need the jump because he is very tall in game. Game. He's got 87 head accuracy, 76 aggression. Now, as you look at the pace, it's kind of deceiving because although he's got 90 sprint speed, he's got 77 acceleration. Now, it takes him a long time to hit that speed, a very long time. And on this game, acceleration is more important than the sprint speed, in my opinion. Now, in terms of shooting category, he's got 89 position, medium to medium work rates as well. He's got 88 finish and 88 shot power, 74 long shots. It doesn't look too great. In game, it actually wasn't too bad. In terms of dribbling category, you would have seen. 60 agility, 46 balance, 74 ball. He's got a touch of a bloody donkey, lads. I'm just going to say it straight away. His first touch is... Yeah, there's no words for it. It's just shocking every single time his first touch bounces off him just like it does in real life. He could be on the ball, the ball could be coming into him, and it doesn't he doesn't normally do stuff like that, the bicycle kick in the air, because he doesn't really have this flair for side to him. But as you know, near post bicycle kicks on this game are very, very overpowered. In terms of the pros, then we'll look at his first touch a little bit later on. The strength. He's very, very, very bloody strong in this game. He can hold off many a player. And uh, yeah, he's just so damn strong because he can hold off nearly every single center back on the game due to the strength that he's got. The left trigger is your friend with Romelu Lukaku. I know some people say it doesn't really work on this game. But if you tap it every now and then, you can just do stuff like that, man. I just walk through the players there. There was three players in front of us. And I just barged them out the bloody way. Like they weren't even there. He is that strong in this game. And he's kind of, I don't know, he zones in. Well, you do when you're using him. You zone in on uh, Route 1. You get the ball in the box. You shoot with Lukaku. It's normally a goal. Outside the area, it's a beautiful finish from Big Roma himself. In terms of heading on the card, it's phenomenal. He's just great in the air. Goal kicks, corner kicks, you've seen a bicycle kick from a corner. Although they are very overpowered, you need good position to score those. And say, so, yeah, look at this cross from Lucas, and look at the header there from Big Roma, right in the bottom corner. Nice little uh, header there from Lukaku. So in terms of heading, he's just great in the air. He wins goal kicks, corner kicks, free kicks, uh, crosses, you name it, he wins it. He's very, very, very good in the air on this game. In terms of the best stats, Hedden does creep into there. 87 Hedden, 88 finishing, and the key stat of the day is the 94 strength. I could have added the 90 sprint speed in there, but honestly, I don't see that as too much of a pro, although it normally would be, because it takes them so long to hit that top speed. It's almost redundant on this game. You can't pull away from defenders, anything like that. So what you gotta do is make them run deep into the move, just like this, and uh, not pass them back the ball that quickly. But um, yeah, you need to do stuff like that. As Lukaku plays it back to Fabi, 
you know, and just look at this strike from Lukaku, by the way, yeah. Outside the boot, are you telling me 74 long shots? You're taking the bloody piss. What a strike there from Romelu Lukaku. In terms of the finishing on the card, impeccable. 21 to 22, there's nothing to complain about there in the slightest. In terms of the shot power, that's like the main beneficiary of all these goals. He's so good at just blasting the ball every single time, whether it be a finesse. You've seen the power on that because his curve just isn't that great. It is 74, so on the finesse, he adds a lot of power to beat the goalkeeper every single time. And the final pro I want to talk about is the hold the player within the card. It's great. His hold of play is fantastic due to the height of him, due to the strength of him, and bringing others into play. He did get 10 assists for me. So, um, yeah, he's just great doing that. He links up with your midfielders, your fellow strikers, your fellow wingers, and he does a great job at holding up the play. Hence, why that is a pro. The other cons of the card, dribbling. He dribbles like a donkey, a mouse strapped to a donkey that just can't do anything apart from lose the ball. He just loses the ball every single time he attempts to dribble. Yes, he's strong, but uh, dribbling-wise, it's just uh, it's not there, man. He just doesn't have it in his locker to dribble past opponent after opponent after opponent with uh, the 81 dribbling. But it's mainly the agility and the balance. 60 and 46. 46 balance. That is so damn bad on this game. That is ridiculous. Acceleration is according to itself because 77 acceleration... Not too great, it's not too great, especially when you've got a, a prime sprint speed of 90. Um, it does let him down, it really, really does. And of course, the first touch, I said it was like a donkey, it actually is like a donkey. You give the donkey the ball, a ball to a donkey, and you let the donkey, like, you pass it into him, the donkey is just gonna bounce off his leg, man, and go any direction. That's what happens with Lukaku, it's just crazy in game. So his first touch replicates real life, and it's just not very good in the side. It's not very good in the side. So Lars is getting the overall rating because he was that good for me in terms of goal scoring. And he's a striker and he does the job. And he got 10 assists as well. I can't go to disregard that at all. He's going to get a good rating for myself because he is a good player in this game. And he did kind of deliver the goods. Although he's like, uh, he's dribbling to the lower side. is first touch. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that anymore. And um, the acceleration, he does bring a lot to your game. Especially if you're using two strikers, he can bring the other striker in the game. Especially if you're using one striker, he can bring the rest of your whole team into the game. So for the overall rating, he's going to get the rating of an 8.8. .8. Very impressed with this card in a certain kind of sense because he was just uh, he was delivering the goods. And that's what you want from strikers at the end of the day. You want them to score goals, you want them to set up uh, goals. And he was just doing that, man. In terms of value for coins, 8.4, 1.90 to 2.10, it's kind of for the card. I reckon he's going to hover over 100k for most of the year. So, um, yeah, he could be worth it until he gets, like, a few informs that knocks that price down. In terms of the enjoyment rate, 8.8, .8, he's not getting over a 9 because... I like dribbling with strikers on this game. I like doing skills with certain strikers on this game. Lukaku is just... <laughs> He's like a horse that's got blinkers on. He's just uh, goals, 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 assist, 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 hold up player. I'm strong. He's that kind of striker, man. And uh, he, although I do enjoy it, but I don't enjoy it at the same time. So he's getting an 8.8 .8 in that category. Foot champs readiness? Yes, he is. Because he fits the kind of meta on this game in a certain sense of strength, of... Uh, uh, a decent amount of finishing, uh, hold the play and stuff like that, the heights, he, he does fit the meta. If you want to spam crosses, Lukaku is your man. The similar players, we have Alan Shearer in there, we have Miroslav Klose, and we have Marko Arnautovic, who I reckon is quite similar. And Arnautovic has the four-star skill. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to Lukaku, Arnautovic is your man. The key pro today, power. The key con is the dribbling, and that incorporates like the first touch and everything like that. And the best chem style I would put on the card is the chem style I put on myself was engine. It boosts the balance by 10, so it's not 46, it's like 56, but it's, it just doesn't make a difference, man. It really doesn't. It boosts the agility by five as well, so it goes to 65 agility. Again, not too much of a difference, but it does make a difference in the passing category, I do believe, for short pass and stuff like that, so you can link up with your fellow teammates. And lads, that's going to be it for this uh, this uh, video. I was going to say stream, but guys, if you have enjoyed, you know what to do. For this Lukaku review, bring the bloody hype, and I'll drop another review later in the day. And uh, hopefully Newcastle beat Manchester United tonight. But anyways, guys, enough of that. I hope you have enjoyed. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.